Ladies, how are you? Man, I feel like it's been forever since last week, maybe? Well, I'm happy to bring a sunrise stretch class to you. We just got through filming a wonderful boot camp core workout. And uh, boy, was it a workout, which is the reason why I really love the sunrise stretch classes because we take everything that we've done and just bring some relaxation into your bodies and just lengthen and elongate those muscles and just bring a sense of calm and quiet to you. So find a space, come on into it with us. It's gonna be me for some, and then I'm gonna get my girl, Chris, to kind of take us home. She's got some fun things planned in this class as well. So you're in for a treat. Just take a seat and, and let's begin a great practice today. Sitting with your legs crossed in easy pose. Let's see what's going on within you. Eyes closed. Just sink your shoulders down from your ears. Chest is bold and open. Showing your heart, exposing your heart to the heavens. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale and open your eyes to a soft gaze, working that yoga drishti. You'll need that drishti, especially that focus when Christina does her balance series. Taking a deep breath, inhale, arms come up, and then exhale, take a dive down. Good, in this pose, just let your elbows kiss the mat or walk your fingertips away from your center. Sink your shoulders all the way down. Deep breath, inhale, arms raise up. Exhale, take the arms out to the side. Quiet the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive down. Good, or walk those fingertips away from your body. Good, deep breath, inhale, arms raise. Exhale down. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale, sink. Good, come all the way down. Choose your pose here. Elbows down or walking away from center. Good, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, raise. Exhale, down. And inhale, raise. Exhale, quiet the arms at the sides. Good, just take that roll around with your head. Inhale as you go back and then exhale as you skim the earth. Head down, neck relax, shoulders pull down. Good, take your time and just see what's going on with your neck today. Good, good, one more right here, no matter where you are. Inhale, back, exhale as you come forward and the head hangs heavy, feeling your shoulders pull down. 
Just let the weight of your head feel that. That head is heavy, heavy. Good, stretching the back of your neck. Deep breath, inhale, come up. Chest big and open, expressive, look up. And exhale down. Good, inhale, head, neutral gaze out. Hello, friends. Other direction with your head rolls. Feels delicious. Inhale back, exhale down. Just surrendering those shoulders down, press. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look out. Beautiful. Inhale, arms raise up. Good, remove those legs from being crossed in that easy pose. Shake them out a little bit. Good, why don't we cross those arms in midair. Sit up nice and tall. Chest is big and bold. Oh, shake yourself. Good, exhale down. Did you hold your breath for all of that? Yeah, good, good. Just let your head and neck relax. Good, just feel as you have your fingers right on your toes. There's a resistance that's happening here, opening the shoulder blades beautifully. There's a pull going on. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, raise up. Good, exhale, recross. There you go, and then come down. Moving this hair out of the way. There we go, good, good. Just sink down, let your head relax. I like to just roll mine from side to side, even here in this position. Shoulders ease down. Feeling delicious in your body. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, raise your arms up. Cross the steel. Exhale down and give yourself a hug. I love this pose. I always run to it because in this pose, I'm able to take my hands, opposite hand to elbow and press down on the elbows, thus elongating that neck and just feeling the stretch at the sides of your neck. Enjoy that. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's have a little fun, shall we? How about cow's face pose? Take those legs. So here's what we're gonna do for cow's face pose. Some of us, uh, easy pose is great. If, if the crossing of the legs is a little awkward for you, just go into easy pose. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna take my right leg and just cross 
over left leg. Now I've seen some yoga manuals do this very interesting. If they're crossing the right over the left, then it's the left arm that goes back. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to stay same side. Whichever leg is crossed, that's the arm that's coming up to form the ear, okay? So right now, what we wanna do is we've got the cross, both glute cheeks are right on the earth. So make sure we've got that structure down pat. Roll your shoulders back and down, and then go ahead and just hold on to the feet. Bring them into the center of your body. Deep breath, inhale, look up, and then exhale, come down right over the knee. Feels delicious. Inhale, and exhale. Ah, inhale, and exhale. You know what else you could do? Let's hold on to that knee, let's cradle it. Just sinking down. It's as if we're taking the knee and bringing it to the opposite shoulder, right knee, right side of your knee to left shoulder. Good, hold yourself in this little ball. If this does not feel good to you, stay in the first position. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, quiet by the sides. Inhale, shoulders shrug up. Exhale, down. You ready? Yes. So let's go ahead and play. We could use a yoga strap or belts to just take and throw that strap right over your shoulder. And then the goal is to just feed that opposite hand to the hand that's on top. But if they don't meet, that's fine. If you don't have a yoga strap, that's also fine. What you're trying to do is get as close as you possibly can. Always sit up in your posture in this one and then both of your shoulders roll back, head back on that upper arm. The goal in this pose is to relax with what is. A comfortable discomfort is a healthy thing. Close your eyes, it feels good when you do that. Good, head back. Open up that cow's ear. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, keep refining the pose. Inhale. And exhale. Delicious. Inhale. Arms release. Exhale. Bring them all the way down. And then just scan the earth. Roll. Inhale. Up. Hands to the feet. And exhale. Skim. Inhale. And exhale, if your legs are crossed in easy pose, you can do this exact same thing. The difference is in doing it this way because I've got my right knee crossed. I'm only gonna go over the right side and then the next time when the left leg is crossed, I'm going over to the left side. But oh, I'm enjoying this here. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Inhale, and then exhale around. Inhale, and exhale around. Very good. And here we are. Let's just grab that four count here. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Come on up, open up your eyes. 
Excellent job here. Let's go ahead and undo this cross and recross. Before we recross, take those legs straight. Check them out. Good, deep breath, inhale, no cross in your arms. Flex your feet and then exhale down. And rock and roll from side to side, shoulders sink down. Feeling that beautiful release. Just rolling on the glutes helps to release them beautifully. Mmm. Very good, just that soft rock and roll. Good, good. And let's steal all motion, and here we are. Good, settling into the pose, feet are flexed. Deep breath, inhale, arms raise up. And exhale down. Ah, you ready for that other side? Me too. Let's go ahead and grab it. The left leg crosses this time. If you were in easy pose the last time, go ahead and go back to easy pose and just enjoy this with us, cow's face pose. This one feels delicious after a shower. If you're not warmed up, after a shower, you definitely could, be, could do more with the cow's face pose. Sitting on both of your glute cheeks, deep breath, inhale, chest is big and exposed, hands to feet, and then exhale, fall down. Excellent, excellent. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Mmm. Exhale. Let's just hang out here just for a split second, okay? Beautiful pose. Beautiful pose. Just keep forward. Even if you are in easy pose, just bringing your posture forward is a beautiful thing. We're feeling the stretch of the side of your hips here. Good, deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and cradle that knee in. How about it? Left side knee to right shoulder. That's the sensation that we are getting here. Good. Breathe in. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come out of the pose. It's easy to just love this pose so much that you don't want to leave. Inhale, arms raise up. Exhale to quiet by your side. Inhale, shoulder shrug. Exhale down. Let's try that cow's face pose here. Left arm. Yoga strap if you've got it, or a belt or a towel. Just throw that across your shoulder here, and then just that hold. And we'll feed the right fingers to the left. The goal is to clasp those fingers together. If you're there, wonderful. If not, just keep working on it. It's still a work in progress over here, but I really do enjoy cow's face pose. It's one of the most beautiful stress relieving poses for me. You know, keeping a lot of tension in my head, in my neck, in my shoulders. Not exactly the head, you know, just the neck and the shoulders there we go good just lean back on that upper arm and remember the trick of the trade a comfortable discomfort is a healthy thing stay in work in 
Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it. Keep refining the pose. Come on back into it. Chest is exposed. Hold. Ah. For four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Inhale, arms out. Exhale down, quiet down. Give me a shoulder shrug here. And down, good. Rolling around. Down to the left side and up. Inhale as you go back. Exhale as you skim the earth. Good. Inhale back. Exhale down. Inhale back. Exhale down. Feels very, very good. Now, let's count this out. Four, three, two, and one. Good, deep breath, inhale, come up. Ah, good. Let's take those legs away from this cross pose. Any bounded pose that you have, straighten your legs, shake them out. Good, deep breath, inhale, arms raise up. Exhale, come down. Sink your shoulders down from your ears. And yes, here we are. Roll from side to side. I have a couple more poses for you to play around with and then we'll have my girl Chris to lead you on. Good, now, stealing all motion. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And one more delicious inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms raise. Exhale, bring both of those knees into you. Hug number two. There we go, good. Sink those shoulders down. Press down on those shoulders. Make sure here you're squeezing your perineal muscles, activating that root lock. Very important. Also, I find when I activate my root lock, uh, my it's very easy for the abdominal lock to come into play because the belly button comes through to the spine, just beautifully engaging your abdominals. No thought process, huh? It all works together. Good, just holding yourself. Take a deep breath, inhale. And then exhale, why don't you keep your left, right knee into you and here we are, just sitting up top, right on top, and then holding just that knee. Flex your left foot. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. First two fingers, or a yoga strap, just touch the toes and lift up on that left leg, holding yourself close. Aha, ha. deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Come on back in this pose. Good, just that balance. Very nice, you may release right hand from right knee if you'd like to or keep it close. But balancing on your tailbone, deep breath, inhale. And exhale, sink your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Could we have no holds whatsoever? And then just hold that balance. Good, just for four count. Four, three, two, have fun with it. And one, let it all go. Good, let it all go. Right leg extended, deep breath, inhale, arms raise up. Exhale, swan dive down. Good, we're gonna try the same thing on the other side. And then we'll just go ahead and end it because I think I've gone over my time, but I uh, really, really have enjoyed you and I hope that you've enjoyed this segment. We're really gonna enjoy the next segment together. Take a deep breath, inhale, arms raise up. Exhale, hug yourself again. Good, press down on both of the elbows, opposite hand to elbows, pressing down. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Keeping your left knee in. Here we are. Extend the right leg. Flex your foot, sitting up nice and tall. You want your knee, that right knee or left, whichever leg is straight, to face the ceiling. That's closing off the hips, keeping the integrity of the move. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath, inhale. And then exhale, squeezing right here, activating that quadricep muscle, supporting your knee. First two fingers, join your toe. Ah ha ha. And lift. This one's gonna give me a little trouble here. There we go. Lift it up. Sitting up nice and tall. Feels good when we're activating the perineal muscles. Deep breath, inhale, sink your shoulders down. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice. You want to balance a little bit? Come on back. There we go. Yeah, you just get get a good grip of that, you know, that foot, or you can grab your ankle or your calf muscle, doesn't matter. As long as you've got something holding that leg or foot or toes. Deep breath, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, exhale. No assist, just that last balance here. Good, deep breath, inhale, and exhale. And one more, it doesn't matter if you're shaking. Exhale, set it all down. Both legs straight, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold, dive. Sink your shoulders down. Take a beautiful inhale and exhale, sigh of relief. All right, grateful hearts. Tammy just led us through a beautiful seated flow. It's time to get up on our feet. So come join me at the top of your mat in mountain pose. We're gonna do a little bit of sun salutation, go into some balance poses, and then I'm gonna take you through the cool down and a quick meditation. So let's remember what mountain pose is. Feet are hip width apart, toes pointed forward. Let's lift those shoulders, roll the shoulders back, solid and strong like a mountain. Take a deep breath, let's inhale, raise. Let your gaze come up to your fingertips. And exhale, forward, fold. 
Tucking your fingers under your toes. Bend your knees. Look out for gorilla. And exhale, forward fold. Setting your hands down to the mat. Step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking up at the front edge of your mat, walk or hop, forward fold. Inhale, raise. And exhale, forward fold. Gorilla. And fold. Stepping back into plank. Set your shoulders. Make sure your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking up at the front edge of the mat. Walk or hop. Forward fold. Last one, inhale, raise. And exhale, forward fold. Gorilla. And fold. Step back into our final plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. <laughs> Whew. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Inhale, raise. And exhale to pray. Beautiful, guys. Okay, so there's a couple things about balance poses. One, the wall is your friend. Two, it's okay if you need to grab a prop. So, actually, stay right there. There's a block. This is going to be your friend if you haven't quite gotten the muscle stability in your ankles to keep you balanced on one foot. Grab your block. Let's do some tree pose. So if you're on a thick mat, go ahead and step off of the mat. You want to be able to feel the ground with your foot. If you've got anything under your feet, carpet, a thick mat, whatever, go ahead and step onto a stable surface. We'll wait. Alright guys, so we're going to try tree pose now. I want you to take your left foot, pay attention to how it's set down. You want to balance on a strong, stable surface. You don't want to have your toes crunched up. You want to be balanced on the widest part of our foot. So right at the ball of your foot, go ahead and plant that down. See what I did there? Plant tree. Stretch out your toes. Let your heel come down. All right, so those of you who need to use a prop at this time, we've got our block here. It's on the taller side. So we're gonna take our right toes, place them on the block, and then we're going to have our, wow, <laughs> our right heel into our left calf. This is your first modifier. What you're doing is you're giving yourself a little stability but you see how I'm still kind of wobbling? We're strengthening those left ankle stabilizer muscles. So this is where we start. Once you're ready to move on, so we're gonna take our right foot onto our left calf. Notice how my heel is not hitting my knee. That is the only requirement in tree pose. Do not put your 
heel on your knee. And that goes for our third and final modification. This is natural tree pose. So bringing your right foot into your thigh, go ahead and take your knee out to the side. We're gonna open everything up. Hips are open, glutes are tucked. Lift up through your core. All right, got that root lock right there. Pull that belly button in. We're gonna take our arms up and out like the branches of a tree. All right, check in with your toes. Are they scrunched up? ahead and relax them. Beautiful. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Raise those arms up and overhead. All right. If you're secure in your pose, let your gaze come up. Exhale. Bring those hands down to prayer. Woo! Oh, yes, I caught it. <laughs> All right. Bringing it down into prayer. Let's hold for four. Three, two, and release. Woo. Yes, see, even teachers have off days every once in a while. All right, so let's go to the other side. Again, right foot flat onto the mat, widest part of your foot, taking the brunt of your body weight. Stretch out your toes. Your heel is there as a little bit of a counterbalance. All right, we've got our left toes on the block. We're gonna start here. Notice my heel is on my calf. And this is level one. Level two, remove the block entirely. Level three, all the way up. Open up your hips, tuck your glutes, yes. Lift up tall in the chest, pull your belly button in. You have just created your tree trunk, tall, stable, and completely stacked. Inhale, raise your arms up and overhead. Hold, hold, hold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, let's raise our arms up and overhead. If you would like to, close your eyes and let your gaze come up. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the wall. And exhale, bring your hands down to prayer at the center of your chest. This is the beautiful part of yoga. You do not have to be perfect. That's the whole beauty of it. It's a practice. We practice, we make mistakes, we get back on the mat. For four, three, two, and release. Go ahead and roll out your ankles. All right. We've got one more set of balance poses for you. And I'm actually gonna turn to the side for these. Warrior three. This is a beautiful warrior series. It's a little different than what we've introduced before. With warrior three, we're gonna take a deep breath. Inhale, raise. Exhale, forward fold. Now you can keep your hands down to the mat. We're gonna plant our left foot into the mat. Right leg comes back. Hang out right here. Check in with your posture. I want you to drop your shoulders down. We're trying to make a straight line from the top of your head through to the back of your heel. All right, and once you're comfortable here in this spot, bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Oh, I feel that wobbling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. How are you guys doing? For four, three, two, and release. How do you guys do with that? Start keeping your hands down on the floor. If you need a little bit of help, if that's uncomfortable, 
use your blocks. Those blocks are there to give you those extra couple of inches. We like to call them grace because frankly, we all need some grace every once in a while. So we don't want to be lopsided. This time, deep breath, inhale, raise. Exhale, forward fold. Keeping your right foot down. Left leg comes back. Toes are pointed back towards the wall. We're gonna start feeling it right here, right in your hip flexor. When you're ready, bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Level yourself out. Your body will tell you when you're in a straight line. Close off your hips. Make sure that your knee is pointing down on your extended leg. And hold right here for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and find a seat down on the mat. do. I know Tammy and I both are just so thankful that you guys have joined us all the way almost to the end. <sighs> you have no idea how much it warms our heart that you're still here. Taking a deep breath. Let's inhale, raise. And exhale down into prayer. All right those legs out into the staff pose. All right, I'm gonna waddle my way up to the front. Make sure you've got plenty of space behind you. Take a deep breath, inhale, raise. And exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, come back. Outstretched, palms are open, fingers uncurled. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, let's bring our knees up into our chest. Arms wrap around as we rock side to side. Slowly let your head come back down as we take both legs straight up into the air. Keeping your left leg elevated Take your right ankle over your left knee. We're creating a four. And I want you to take your left hand to the side of your right foot. Your right hand to the side of your left foot. Left hand to the side of your right. And just pull your legs in. Give me a nice deep stretch. Relaxing your piriformis muscle. Taking a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And if you're not quite getting enough from this pose, go ahead and grab your ankles and pull them in. You should be feeling a beautiful, delicious, deep stretch right here in your right hip. So pull, pull your knees in for four, three, two, and release. Both legs straight up one more time. 
This time our right leg is gonna stay extended. Left ankle crossing over your right knee. Whew. Whichever one feels best for you. I personally like to have my ankles. And pull in. Hold right here. Your chin can be elevated or your head relax back. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. For four, three, two, and release. Both legs raised. Point your toes up towards the sky. Take your hands to the backs of your legs. Roll out your ankles. Flex your toes. And when you're ready, happy baby. Take what you need and leave the rest. Four, three, two, and release. Stretch all the way out. Arms extended to the side. Legs stretched. As we come into Shavasana, our corpse pose. Relax your hips, your shoulders. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Settling down into Shavasana. Close your eyes. Feel your body beginning to sink into the ground. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Feeling the energy as the air pulls into your body. And exhale long and slow. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Keeping your eyes closed. Slowly relax your forehead and eyebrows. Let your eyes sink back into their sockets. As your eyelids grow heavy, let yourself sink into that place right between awake and asleep. Let your shoulders relax, pulling down away from your ears. Your arms laying heavy by your side. Open your palms, let your fingers uncurl, feel your back beginning to rest, relaxing muscle by muscle, 
vertebrae by vertebrae as your body weight just relaxes deep into the mat. Relax your hips. Stretch out your legs. Feel that peace travel down through your feet all the way to the very tips of your toes. You are safe, secure. You are free. Take this moment to reflect on where you are. What can you do to continue to care for yourself? Take this opportunity to reset, to refocus on what truly matters. that mean to you? designed to hype us up, to get our energy and blood flowing, to make us get swept up, sometimes in excitement and sometimes in panic. But how often do we pull ourselves out of that wave of emotion and realize that we've lost sight? We are in the middle of something unprecedented right now. But you're safe. You're secure. You have food to eat. You have your family. You have entertainment. You have been given the gift Time. Time to rethink what part of your former normal do you not want to bring back? And what part of this new normal will carry forward? choice is yours. You get the chance to start over midway through the game. The chance to correct any mistakes you're making. To refocus. To start anew. This is a beautiful way to bring in the spring season, to celebrate Easter. And refocus, reset, and allow ourselves to bloom exactly where we're planted. Keeping your eyes closed, 
remain in your meditative space as you bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. May we walk in health, happiness, and wholeness. May we seize this opportunity to learn and to grow. Repeating after me, I am blessed, I am loved, I am powerful, I am more than enough. Namaste. Namaste.